Hi, USAR2020. I'm Garrick Eden Bowie, and your slides are so extra. This is a presentation about making extra special presentations with the Sharingan Extra Package. First of all, what is Sharingan? Sharingan is an R package that lets you write in R Markdown, and it uses the remark.js JavaScript library uh, and Pandoc together to turn your slides into HTML web pages, like the one that you're looking at right now. To get started, you install that package's Sharingan, and you might need to learn a little bit about the syntax. There are great resources on Yihui's page or on the Sharingan repo on GitHub. So first of all, thank you to Yihui for Sharingan, for Knitter, for all of the amazing things that R Markdown can do. So we're going to make your slides extra special. Sharingan Extra uh, provides a bunch of extra extensions that add on to the Sharingan package. It's not on CRAN, you need to use install GitHub to get it. And I do have a documentation page with examples of each of the extensions we're going to talk about today. The first extension we're going to talk about today is TileView. So to use TileView, you simply call the useTileView function inside of an R chunk in your slides. Once you've done that, when you render your slides, you can press O to open up an overview of your slides. You can even see the slides that you've visited already or the slides that are coming up. You can jump back and push O again and jump forward and move around if you need to. Next up, panel set. Panel set is a lot like tab sets in, in sort of normal R markdown. Um, you get started by calling use panel set and then you have to create panels inside of your slides. To create a panel or a set of panels, you, you use uh, the dot panel set class and then you're going to fill it with panels and each panel needs to have a name. Inside of a panel, you can put whatever you want, like R code or, um, or the output of that R code. So you could have, for example, R code in one panel and then um, the ggplot output in another. We're actually looking at a panel set right now. The other nice part is that you can use the left and right arrows to navigate back and forth between the panels so your normal slide navigation isn't broken up. Next up, webcam. The webcam extension is the one I'm using right now to show my face in these slides. You can call the use webcam function and uh, even give it a width and a height if you'd like to set how big your video is going to be. And then during your presentation, press W to turn on the webcam or press it again to turn it off. Oh, hi, how are you? You can also um, move the video around by pushing Shift and W so you can move it out of the way just by pushing shift and W. Next up is editable. So you might identify with this situation. You've prepared some slides, but you didn't know an important piece in advance, like the Wi-Fi. But you can actually now edit your slides. Uh, somebody told me right before I started that the Wi-Fi is hotel, conference, Wi-Fi. Uh, does anyone remember the password? Yeah, yeah. Okay, use our 2020, thanks. There we go. This is great for class. For example, if you ask your students, uh, what's your favorite tidyverse function? You might have someone immediately call out spread and gather and uh, spark a hearty debate about whether or not they should be replaced with pivot longer or pivot wider. So to make an element of your slide editable, you call use editable, and then you need to wrap, your, wrap the part that you want to edit in can edit. At that point, when you run to your slides, you'll be able to edit that content. Um, it's good for inline elements as well. Okay, slide tone is the next extension. Slide tone is a really cool feature. You're not hearing it right now, but if you go to the demo on the package documentation page, you'll hear what it sounds like. Every time you change the slide, there's a little tone that plays and it goes up as you move through your slides. And uh, this can be really helpful if you need auditory feedback about how far you are in your slide. And finally, we have Animate. Animate uses the Animate CSS framework to animate your slides or parts of your slides. And the way that you use this is to first say that your slide is going to be animated. And then I have actually modified Animate CSS so that you can declare an in and an out animation. For example, to have this slide came in from the right and it's going to go out to the left. If you'd like to have the same animation for all of your slides, you can use Animate All, and there are a few uh, coordinated transitions that you can pick from and have them applied to every slide transition in your presentation. 
So that's basically it for sharing an extra. There's a lot more. There are even more extensions in the package, which I suggest that you check out. The GitHub repository is here. You can find me on Twitter and also online at garrickadenbuie.com.